Ibo Area TV on on the Ibo. Hello viewers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching. Prior to this time, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Mazen Namdekano, has always sounded the alarm to whoever cared to listen that the man in Asso Rock acting as Nigeria's current president is not Buhari but an imposter from Sudan called Jubril. It started like a joke, but numerous Nigerians have come to terms with that conclusion. Now see what protesters under no association, just Nigerians living in the UK are chanting. Buhari is dead. Ten Nigeria now. Buhari is dead. Ten Nigeria now. group Amnesty International has demanded that the federal government of Nigeria stops its move uh, to cover up the Lekki toll gate shooting which took place last Tuesday you know there's a, a they're trying to cover up their mess according to the rights group in a statement issued on Wednesday by its country director Osai Ojiho Amnesty International said that what happened at Lekki Toll Gate had all the threats of Nigerian authorities' pattern of cover-up whenever their defense and security forces commit unlawful killings. He said it's they are, it's they are fond of you know doing that, trying to cover up. There's a, their way of doing, always acting up. The rights organization also revealed that it has released a new timeline investigating the attacks that occurred in Lagos on October 20 and they, are, they have collected pictures and photographs and video footage and they are they have every proof that Nigerian army vehicle left Bonnie camp at 6 29 p.m. that evening of the incident the statement by the group read toss in full what happened at Lake toll gate has all the traits of the Nigerian authorities pattern of a cover-up whenever they, their defense and security forces commit unlawful killings.
One week on, the Nigerian authorities still have many questions to answer. And here are the questions. It said, who ordered the use of letter force on peaceful protesters? Why were CCTV cameras on the scene dismantled, removed in advance? And who ordered electricity being turned off minutes before the military opened fire on the protesters? You know, there were, there were allegations that they are turned off so that the cameras cannot pick what was about to happen or what happened. The initial denials of the involvement of soldiers in the shooting was followed by the shameful denial of the loss of lives as a result of military attack against the protests. Up to today, and since the day of the incident, many people are still missing. And there are ev a lot of evidences shows um, the military prevented ambulances from reaching the reaching the injured people after murder. We, we even had um, they removed the bodies by themselves to cover up traces. Amnesty International told Nigerian authorities to bring to justice those who that are behind the uh, killing of protesters. Those who were exercising their rights to freedom of assembly. The protesters were peaceful. The country has been in hard times after the NSAS protests began, but has now been subdued by government forces. There were lots of activities which took place during the moment when the protest was hot. A lot of things happened, and even the shooting of the protesters led to other things as well. The protesters had to start you know, reacting, getting angry. Over the weeks, there have been a series of hoodlums going around the country and destroying both people's and government-owned properties. That is sure. They have been doing it. However, this situation resulted in a brief curfew, which was placed by some state governors in order to curtail the violence that is going on in the country. You know, the protest was hijacked by hoodlums. We all are aware of how the army intended to start off the Operation Crocodile Smile in a bit to fight cyber warfare. Um, however, a recent video clip had surfaced on social media. I shouldn't be misunderstood if I say the video was a very disturbing one. It's not just a video, there are many videos um, that revealed what happened during the NSAS protest. The video which has gone viral barely uh, an hour ago or some hours has shown that the Nigerian army was making a video clip of the moment when the soldiers were seen preparing a mission along which, uh, alongside um, they, are, they, are, they are planning to go for the uh, attack with several vehicles for the mission. The personnel who recorded the clip was heard saying that they are getting ready to come to Igbo land. You know, the disturbing issue about the clip is that the man said the army are getting ready to come to Igbo land. Oh, could you imagine that? Now, the question is, why is he specific about the army coming to Igbo land? Why is he specific? Just like uh, the other time the soldiers were shown in a video, they recorded themselves. One of um, Some of the newly recruited ladies in the Nigerian army we are saying, oh, civilians, we are going to deal with you. We are going to treat your four cop. Are these people joining the force to just hurt civilians? What do you have to say? Yeah. Four bastards is that clear. The worst test in our test is that clear. So what do you advise? I advise civilians to not pick a team to for my life. Okay, I love that. I love that. Uh -huh, that's good. I love that. civilians. They are very useless. I hope men. If okay. I tell them, what do you go tell them? Uh -huh. So, ma, what's your advice? My advice to them is let them go to the portal. Please add your contributions to this. We'd like to know what you think. Things are getting out of hand. And do you still think the Amnesty International is wrong on their reports? Tell us what you think.
Thanks for watching Ibo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.